Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, continuing my let's play. I went and got a power bomb, so now it's time to go back out there and pick up that missile expansion. I didn't realize that, that having to find power bombs would be would be a bigger challenge than like actually putting them into use. But that seems to be what it what it's come down to. Oh, somehow I got two. That's interesting. I thought I only had one. But as you can see, oh I get another power bomb for that. Nice. Back here there's a missile expansion. Very nice. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So now, I'm not really sure how many we can carry, but it's a whole hell of a lot. I think it's like oops, over like 150, I think. Now let's see, where do we want to head to next? We want to go to the uh, Talon Overworld, so let's look and see where the... Uh, yeah, there's the access, so let's get over there to that. And exit this area. We're done in phase on mines, for the moment. We need to head back to Talon Overworld to pick up another um, visor. I know I said I was going to get it in the last video, but it ended up taking like way longer than I thought because I had to go search for power bombs twice. Oh, annoying. Anyway, let's get up this elevator. Head back to Talon. Hopefully there's... Well, geez, I just passed up a save room, didn't I? Hopefully there'll be one close by when we get out here. But, uh, after we get this next visor, we're gonna just be spending some time picking up some power-ups. And I believe there's, there's quite a few of them around in Chozo Ruins and Talon Overworld that we'll be able to pick up now that we have the grapple beam and we'll soon to have a new visor as well, so... Now we need to find the Life Grove Tunnel, and then the Life Grove. Now where is that? If I f yeah, there's the Life Grove Tunnel. That's where we want to go. Great, we're ready right next to it. Go ahead and pop these guys. Intense radiation detected. Yeah, that's phase on. That's the nasty stuff that the space pirates have been experimenting with. I think this game might have a little bit of auto-aim or something, but it seemed like that last one... I should have missed, but somehow I got to him anyway. Anyway, let's find our way up to the top here. And then go to the right. Find our way to the Life Grove Tunnel. And here's where we, we would have to spin to open this. This is the first time we really have to do it. Now, uh, don't do anything with this me I'll do. Now I'm gonna kill you too, and you. Ah, crap, I should have shot him while I was frozen. Dude, not cool. There's one. Ah, get away, get away, get away. And there's the other. Great. Hop back up here. And I believe we need to use this little twisted thing over here to get up to the top, so let's go ahead and tr try that out. Oh. Ah! Whoa! Ah! Crap, I fell. Dang it. <laughs> Tried to take a shortcut there and I fell right off. Gosh, I've been taking some serious hits, haven't I? Where did I lose that much health? Last time I looked up at my health meter, I had almost full. Now I have significantly less. Oh, I almost made it that time. Dude, grab on. I'm, using, I'm hitting the R button. Come on, Samus. Do your job. There we go. Let's see if I can just... Uh, uh, ah. Dang it. Whatever. Fine, Nintendo. You win. I'll do it the way you want me to. Ah, not. That's the shortcut I remembered. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, let's get up here. Head through the Life Grove Tunnel. Should be able to pick up a missile expansion in here. Do I have power bombs? Please tell me I have a power bomb. Alright, I've got one. Great. Blow that open. And, wow, that's really bright. Anyway, let's roll in through here. This is interesting. Hmm. Okay. That kind of makes me think of Metroid Fusion, the way that that seems to be hitting, hiding something there. Oh! Oh, this is a ramp! Okay, so let's say, how the hell did I expect me to get up back up there once I fall? Now, if this is anything... Ah, oh, crap. It's hard to do this in this little area like this. There's not a whole lot of freedom to move. And I'm hitting the ceiling up here, too. So let's go ahead and try to break open the top. Yeah, that's just... That is straight out of... That's straight from Metroid Fusion. So, so familiar. Oh, fell out of a hole there, too, didn't I? Let's go ahead and start using our boost ball here. Find our way over to the right. And there we go. We should now be in the life grove. And there should be something down there for us. Let's go pick it up. The X-ray visor. Got it. You see Samus messing with her visor there, showing us we got a new one. Now the X-ray visor is, is interesting because uh, you actually can see Samus's hand inside the power cannon when you activate it. So you can see like uh, her like when she changes from like missiles to uh, different beams and stuff. You can see that her hand moves around in there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's there. Anyway, let's find our way out of this room. I believe we... 
Is it the only exit up there? How am I supposed to get back up there? There's a pot up there I can destroy. And if we go into uh, X-Ray, we'll see that there's uh, these areas around us here. Those walls are pretty weak. We can only scan one of them, I think. Let's see. Shows weakness. Bendesium is detected. I think I've got another power bomb. Let's just go ahead and use it. I'm assuming that's where we're supposed to go. So let's check it out. Oh wow, this is a bigger area than I... Oh wow, the power bomb like destroyed the whole room, didn't it? Very nice. Ah, get away from me. Oh, another power bomb. Thank goodness. I'm so glad we're finding more of those. It's a real pain to have to go hunting for an item that you need. Before long, we'll be able to pick up power bomb, power, power bomb expansions, too. That'll allow us to carry more at, at one time, so that'll make things easier for us. Let's head over here. This seems to be the way out. Do this little puzzle here. This is basic stuff now. Talon Overworld's got some interesting areas hidden in it. Like, you see, the first area we enter, Talon Overworld, we eventually come back to to get the final visor. The X-Ray. So cool. You can look around and see, see stuff. It's pretty neat. Different from the thermal. There are two distinct purposes. Now, where do we want to go to get out of here? So we can hop over to that. I'm not sure the, how to get there. We can go this way. That should work. Run around. Oh, great. More of these ghosts. Yeah, this is one of the main uses of the X-ray visor. Is that when these guys just turn invisible, you can see them at all times with the uh, X-ray visor. Crap, get away from me, faggot. And again, I'm just going to use the power beam on these guys. So that seems to be the most effective weapon I've found so far. Wow, he's just standing there. <laughs> he's just taking it like a man. And as you can see there, there went up the same as his hand. And you can see the bones in the hand. Kind of cool. Anyway, let's take these guys out with the X-ray. We can see them all the time now. Fire your gun, Samus. Gosh, just getting stunned a little bit by the fact that they're uh, hitting her so much. Great. Hope I got that shot off there. Every time you get hit with one of their shots, it stuns you so you can't fire for a few seconds. You see, I'm trying to scrape, but I'm like kind of a small platform over here. And I guess I could I could move around, but I don't want to like fall into the water or anything like that. Oh, dude, he's right next to me. That's not cool. I'm just like laying on the A button right now. Keep lighting them up. Do as much damage as we can, as many as we can. Ugh, these fights are just such a pain. There's got to be a more efficient way to do this, but I'm not sure what it is. I haven't discovered a better method yet. Anyway, there's a... Uh, maybe missiles? Missiles just bounce off, don't they? I don't know. As you can see there. Alright, there's two. Where's the third guy? I got you, dude. You're done. Your buddies are already out of the way. So avoid his attacks there. And you see, no matter where he goes, we can still tell that he's there. And he's just going to keep hopping around. Normally, we would have to really like look around and try to find this guy. But with the X-ray visor, we can see him all the time. Nice little ability there. What is that going to do? Ah! Opens up the exit to the room, it looks like. Oops. I see power bomb over there, so I'm going to pick that up. Never have enough of those. Hop back across. Play won't fall. There we go. Now we can head back out there and hopefully find a save room. We've accomplished a good bit in this recording session. Let's find our way back over to that. I think we can make this jump here. Yeah, that's, that's easy. Ooh, that was cake. Now, is this just a tunnel here we just fall through? Yeah, there we go. It takes us back to the entrance of the room. Very nice. Head back to the uh, door. Oh, I guess we got to do this again, don't we? Ugh. Oh, come on. I definitely had that. There's no way I wasn't high enough. There we go. And hop out. Very nice. Well, that's good. We have all four visors now. I'm still waiting for us to get that fourth beam. It's a real good one. But anyway, I'm looking for a save room now. I may even head back into uh, Phase on Mines just to take advantage of that save room. But uh, if I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, end the video here. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime when we will collect a whole crap load of power-ups. See you then.